Well, a couple hours later, here I am. I just have that announcement that I'm so excited about. I'm at up at uh, 117 Marina in Barrie, and I'm just about to, I've been walking around the boat, and uh, anyway, here I am. The company I'm gonna be dealing with now is Campion. It's a good old Canadian company. It's been around for almost 50 years, based out of Kelowna, BC, and um, yeah, nice to have a Canadian builder uh, in the uh, multi-species or, or bass fishing market, for sure. So anyway, I'll just, uh, I'll take you for a tour. So here it is. It's a little hard, we're in, a, we're in the shop here. It's a bit tight, they wanted to get it out of the weather. So this is the Campion Rage. It is a significant boat, uh, as you can see here. It is on a temporary trailer at the moment, so it looks even bigger than it is, but. It is 22 foot, nine inches long. And uh, this one's a dual windshield, uh, actually automotive windshield, so they're glass windshields on a metal frame. And back to the back, some of the real key points here is uh, they have a sw swim plant form on this, on this boat, uh, which does a couple things. Uh, it means you can run a regular shaft outboard as opposed to an extended shaft like most walleye boats are, so you can see that the, the actual transom would be that high. And with the swim deck on there, which is great for obviously multi-use and families and, and using this on the weekends you're not fishing. So going up, there's a ladder here uh, that pulls out. Kind of a quick peek underneath here. You see the side imaging, uh, hummingbird side imaging transducer right there and the extension from the sea deck. Right off the bat, before we even get in the boat, this is our access panel for our charging system. Um, showing a gauge as to what's going on as far as fully charged or where you're at, plug in, and the master power there as well. Sorry for the spinneroo. So, climb up. So the first thing you notice for sure is that this is a very, very big boat. Very rumor, uh, very roomy. It, uh, it has four seats in it, uh, which uh, a lot of the boats, the multi-species do. These easily pop out for fishing application. And the big thing you notice right away is this boat is built without carpet. It's built with a, a foam floor system. Um, more or less a sea deck is kind of a generic, uh, generic name. It's uh, so very easy wash up. All you have to do is get a hose out and, and a bucket and a, and a standing pole brush and, and away you go. No more vacuuming, no more carpet to replace. This stuff is very, very tough. It does provide cushion on your feet similar to carpet. Just makes for much easier cleanup, especially if you're dealing with a poorly hooked fish that, uh, that could be bleeding and whatever. So big consoles, uh, does have the option for the center close on the windshield. Um, for obviously, especially spring and fall when you're out in nastier weather, it'd be nice to close that. So another cool thing that this boat has on it, it has the Airwave pedestal shock seats so that the guys like myself that are running out in the Great Lakes aren't getting as beat up as we normally would. So let's take a stroll up this way. We'll do a quick stroll. Again, so and this is the front deck. Again, it's all, it's all foam flooring. So two access panels, or uh, two large, two smaller, and there's the front helm with, uh, with a nice big Hummingbird Solex unit, uh, cup holder, again, somewhat of a, an independent master uh, power switch for the front as well, to isolate your electronics, and uh, plier, knife, etc. holder. This one happens to have a Minn Kota Altera on it, or you can put a Trova on it, you could uh, also, with uh, an additional aluminum plate, you can mount uh, an Altrex, which I will be mounting on mine. So looking back here, again, we'll get a good visual of, of the extent and size of this boat. So it's gonna be a really, really good multi-species boat. Um, looking forward myself to putting, we'll put cannon, I'll put a cannon rail here, right, right here, and that way I can put, uh, put my cannon riggers uh, on a rail system here so I can take them off while I'm uh, tournament fishing for bass. So starting at the very back of the boat again this is kind of your 
ways. You can certainly stand back here if you wanted to, to net fish and things like that. It's very big. You'd probably put a, put three people back here on this swimming platform. So, live well, very important to us as tournament fishermen. This live well is significant in size. It's actually a blue gel coat, extremely smooth all the way around. Has a seal on the door here, keep the water from splashing. On each side of the live well, there's draining storage areas for either, uh, if you're into using uh, live well um, product that assists with the fish, with fish health, you can put your culling systems in there. So there's one on each side. Has a, it is a split live well. It's uh, approximately 45 inches long and in a good 20 inches wide. Has an oxygenator in it. It is lit as well, so there's lights on both sides. There's the aerator and a, a removable separator here. So that's the uh, real important part for us as tournament fishermen. Coming over here, right to the left of it is your live well controls. They're not at the helm, they're actually back by the live well. Uh, pump systems, the timer, uh, and an additional 12 volt receptacle there. We'll go into the storage area here. This is uh, 55 inches long. This is actually, on this side, it's one very large unit. Foam floor in it as well to protect your tackle and gear. And at the back here, it has a hatch. Very large hatch. Sorry, a little lack of light there, but that's kind of where all the, uh, all the, the wiring you don't need to access are. There is a master uh, kill switch there for the electric motor, but most of that is just the stuff you won't need to access. I'll show you, I'll show you the stuff you do in a, minute, in a minute here. And it has the same thing on the other side. The only difference on this side is the two compartments are separate. Foam floor again, very, very big. I could, not a very big guy, but I could quite likely sit in there without any problem at all. And again, another separate storage area back here. So, uh, looking forward, this is, oh, this one's cooler actually, let's start here. This one really excited me when I got, when I got in the boat the first time, so. My boat setup is, is quite bad. I have to pretty much have somebody hold my feet while I go upside down, looking in the, uh, looking in where my batteries and things are. This is a floor hatch, very easy to get to. Uh, and this is the only boat manufacturer that I'm aware of that it actually factory comes with two batteries. So there, one is for obviously your cranking for turning your outboard motor on and off. And the second is strictly for live well electronics and other things you may need. So you don't have to worry about ever killing your batteries. They are both hooked up to the charging system from the alternator on the large motor. Uh, access to pumps are right there, nice and easy. This has a filter system on the live well pumps to protect the pumps from being clogged up. And there's a master valve at the bottom as well. So you can shut the live wells or shut the water to the live wells to do any plumbing work. And there's one, your main switch for the on off and, and running. Nice and handy. So, let's see moving forward. On each side behind the driver, there's basically hardware for knives. Uh, knives and pliers, etc. Storage box on this passenger side. There's uh, handles there to lock in your rods. Storage cup holder, rods again, and a significant seating. Um, these are these aren't your typical vinyl vinyl seats. They're almost more of a, a cordura feel. Um, they do have standard seating, and they also have bolstered seating, so you can actually sit up in a raised position and uh, you can see better if that was more to your liking. And your glove box, very roomy. And let's look at the helm. This is the important part for me, that's for sure. So again, shock seat. So you go up and down all you want. Nice, nice cushion for the body. I'm not getting any younger, sadly, so I'm gonna have to protect myself a little better. But uh, again, this is a Solex 12 at the helm here, right center mounted, nice close reach to it. There's your instrument panel on the right, 
metal steering wheel. And this is uh, pretty cool actually here. These are all completely waterproof, push button, uh, no toggle switches, things like that. These are all sealed unit. There's no way for water to get anywhere near them so they don't fail. And again, you have libel control here as well. Water in, water out, all your other lighting and horn and accessories, etc. And for me, this is kind of cool. It seems odd, but we do, uh, we do run into snags with uh, blowing breakers, running pumps if the pumps get contaminated, which these ones shouldn't, but very, very handy. So there's a breaker system if you run into trouble. All it is is two hatches on a lid and uh, all your breakers are right there. You switch this nice and easy. Now to get up into the fishing part of the rig here. Obviously, again, this is a full windshield and this is a full glass windshield. Very similar to your vehicle, automotive glass. Um, won't crack, uh, won't break. Uh, certainly not by waves or anything like that. Obviously, if a stone hit it, it could. Rod storage, very large lid. Um, easily, um, again, I could, I could certainly lay in there if I, uh, if I needed to. Um, you have the option of using their existing 12 hole where this actually lifts out. And again, now there's your access to your cranking batteries, or I'm sorry, your electric motor batteries, nice and handy, nothing fancy, just reach right in. You can grab them and lift them out. Lots of clearance on each side to get them in and out right in the rod box. And, and rods again, you can either take this system out that has the, the lockdowns if you wanted to carry 30 rods or something like I normally do, but you could easily use, um, and that also comes out up there. You could actually, I would keep it, and then uh, that's all tubes, so the rod tips go into those tubes. Uh, ventilation. Get ventilation on each side so the moisture doesn't build up in your storage box, which is an ongoing problem for most. Uh, lockable, of course. Moving to the front, uh, quite spacey, uh, certainly more than enough for, for me and my partners to hang at. Um, bait system for guys out fishing bait or walleye, guys like that, it does come out so you can use it for storage. And a cooler, if you prefer to use it for a cooler, you can do that. Same on the other side, only it's just uh, drainable storage. And then the front two boxes, they're actually a little bit different. So this is a drainable uh, gel coat, basically um, contained type storage area, quite big. And on the other side, it's actually just finished to the bottom of the hull. So it's, uh, it's if you're more interested in getting a lot more gear in, like, uh, like I would be, lots of room for rain gear in there and safety equipment. I carry a, a duffel with spare clothes and things like that as well. So it is finished as well. It's carpeted, it's got the foam flooring. It's all, gel is all finished in there. It's just not uh, a contained unit like the right side is. So depending on your needs. Close everything up here. Moving to the front, this particular unit has a Altera, like I said before. And it has, uh, yeah, basically graph set up. Certainly room to put a, a multi-graph system in here, and that's what I'll be doing. I'll be running two, two graphs on the front. Again, master power, like I said, and everything there that you need. Rod straps to lock them down. You can either put them through the ported holes, the rod tips, or you can just run them up on the top up here. So, um, another area they have here is, again, just access to this very, very large, very deep um, storage area for duffels or anything like that. Uh, if you want to put them in, there's the rod tubes. And uh, yeah, it's another big area underneath this cushion. Uh, it does have a cushion on each side in case you have extra passengers and you want to use this more of a family setup. It's got some grab handles here. And I think that's about it for now. There's the uh, master access for the, for the fuel tank in case you have anything like that issues wise, which uh, is pretty rare. Does have speakers built in. You know, and that's kind of the quickie tour. I'd like to get into a little more detailed tour uh, at some point, but uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it. 
If you have any questions on Rage, please uh, just message me on whichever social media platform you've seen this video on. I'll be happy to help. Uh, I'm going to be, as soon as I get the boat, um, I will let everyone know. So if they want to see it or possibly hop in while I'm out fishing somewhere, I'd certainly gladly give you the, the Rage ride along if you wish. Uh, have a good day and thanks for your time.